Guys, she will not know this journalist when they call Oshoma. I hear say this week, Oman Paso. Many senior pastors, even the ones who drink tea with God, they want to gather to arrest this guy. I mean, they're shocking at the way they're shocking. Very dark man, in jail, show where and the rest. Wait till this journalist, Oshoma, talk for this video. I beg, just watch, share, like, and share your thoughts. What do you think for what is my talk? In the right or in an antichrist or in the high, we are just here waiting to talk. Eh? That's true. In case they arrest this journalist, we could not hear waiting to talk before they clear. Kai! It is the nature of all false prophets to create a conscience where there is none and to cause conscience to disappear where it does exist. As our pastors are the one now destroying Christianity. It is not in doubt that religion is the opium of the masses and a lot of false prophets have taken advantage of this to deceive and suspecting followers for their own benefit. In Nigeria today, due to Africa, magicians have taken over the house of God and they parade themselves as prophets of God. Why in actual sense, these people are all prophets of Baal. To them, Christianity starts and ends with giving as they steal in the name of the Lord. The bigger your problem, the bigger you are told to donate. Challenge God and see if he will not offload his blessings upon you, they say. Yet, you never even feel challenge common government when they steal your money every day. But they tell you to challenge God. If you believe them, you have believe you can believe anything. Why is it upon a scam? Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly and ravaging wolf. That's what the Bible says. What God cannot do does not exist. And I lie. There are billions of things God cannot do. God gave you a brain. He cannot do the thinking for you. For most of them, religion is nothing more than a substitute for malfunctioning brain. So that's why they remove your ability to do critical thinking and create fear around you, then send miracle to you. That fear, the key that unlocks the pocket of the rich and the poor and gullible. They tell you, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, but the Lord is with me. Yet they drive around with bulletproof cars and number of mobile police enough to form a battalion as they frighten you not to give to the poor woman in the village who they claim is a witch. That we take your gift to Kovun and uh, tie your destiny. So rather bring it to the church so that the pastor will lay hand on it and before he gives it away. All on a job. That's for one night mentality. They would raise sword against anyone that preaches against tithe and offering. Or first fruit or taxes that they collect. Even if that person is, tr is a true Christian or one of them. That's why everything to them starts and ends with donation. Let 20 people come out to give 1 million naira. After that 1 million, they will still reach 100 naira and 5 naira. Stealing from both the rich and the poor. The church and pastors want money, they turn to members. But members want money, they are told to turn to God. Why is your brethren? God is not after your money, but your salvation. For these pastors have fleeced more people of their hard-earned money and made more people poor and depressed than they have actually saved people. They are quick to shout Malachi 3.10, but we never point you to Deuteronomy 14.22-29, where the law of tithing was actually established and you were instructed to eat your tithe. That is why they celebrate the fraudulent, the corrupt, the wealthy, than the meek and the righteous. They claim to be modern-day Levi, but they forget that Levi is a tribe of, in, the, in Israel and yet are not a calling. So show me a Levi and I will give you my tithe. So why they not call you into Tinubu or Bigate or Elon Musk's family? Only thief masquerading as chief. Instead of a place of worship, they have turned the church into a, a, a gathering where the best of cars, clothing and materialistic things are showcased. Comic relief are, are, are entertained because of the hollowness and lack of godliness in these places. My God is not a poor God. No wonder more people are now questioning the existence of God. As they say, if his so-called messengers can be this canner without repercussion, what then is the need? Some of the pastors claim to even drink tea with God and stop natural weather in foreign countries for months. Yet, they no fee even stop the scorching sun that is burning people here even when light no day. Some claim to raise more people from the dead. Yet bad roads and non-availability of infrastructure is killing their church members daily. And they never feel who raised them. I mean, church members, they forbid uh, to raise from the dead. Others claim to hold the key to the kingdom. But what their followers do not know is that the key to the vote when they won't give madam and get friends, now they hold, not the key to the kingdom. Some even say they stop a bullet with their hand and drove cars from Lagos to Abuja without fuel. They collect money from you to build schools, yet you can't afford to send your children there because of exorbitant fee. They promise you, they ask you to invest in the heaven, but are quickly collecting their return on investment here on earth. They tell you all sorts of lies in the name of God. 
And rather than lead people to God, they're actually chasing people away from God while the few credible ones in church are silent because of mob criticism. Even motivational speakers today call themselves pastors too. As more people are calling God instead of God calling them. And while they criticize politicians in the afternoon, they go to collect title and offering from these same politicians in the night. And why you continue to carry your own cross. I will therefore advocate until we begin to judge this so-called God of men, masquerading as men of God, so that we also will be judged. We will continue to have charlatans occupy the pulpit until they completely eradicate the gospel and replace it with their own thought. True religious leaders must urgently rise up and speak up if they must salvage the already bad situation. To return to higher standard of living, the church can, PFL and all, of, all other associations, must abandon the so-called prophet and seek new leaders of their own choosing. The government on its own owe it a duty to the society to create sanity and must establish laws to limit the proliferation of religious centers all in the name of winning souls while they are actually destroying souls. If you like, insult me from now to today. It will not stop me from calling out your pastors. So well, let me listen to your insults on our comment section in all our social media uh, platforms showing on your screen. And for those who share the same sentiment with me, please feel free to share. We can collectively sanitize this bad, chase this bald head out of the yard. For if we remove tight offering, first fruit, and all revenue collection from most of these churches, they will fold up on their own. Remember, in prosperity teaching, preaching, only the pastor prospers. Why you who is giving remains poor, so bore yourself a brain. See you next week.